a first warning weather with Jim Spencer. Well, this was the scene this morning on Lake Austin. Some fog on the water, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere in the wake of last night's storm system. It's still humid out there tonight. Feels like it could rain again, and it might in some locations, but not so much in Austin, I don't believe. Some pretty pictures there. Let me show you some rainfall totals that we saw with this storm system out in the uh, hill country. In fact, if you see an area in green, if you live in one of these areas that are in green, the light green shade, that's uh, an inch and a half of rainfall. We saw plenty of those around. Now, there were some locations in the darker blue shades that didn't quite get up to one inch, especially out in the hill country, but most of us had an inch of rain, many of us inch and a half, and in our eastern counties where it rained all day, well, nearly four inches fell in Smithville, and some two to three inch rainfall totals from Fayette County up there into uh, Milam County. On my blog posting tonight on KXAN.com, I have linked to, in fact, I've posted more than 200 rainfall totals from the LCRA rain gauges, so check that out by clicking the More button there. And two blog posts today. The second one, well, this is kind of ominous. The uh, Climate Prediction Center said today they now believe a La Nina is forming. We've been talking about this for a while, being a possibility. They say it's happening now. They've issued a La Nina watch. Why is that bad news? Well, we tend to get real dry during the La Nina period. It's all, uh, 2007 to 2009. So uh, this would not be good for us. They expect the La Nina will form over the summer months. We may be entering our next drought, but let's uh, be thankful for what we got today. June off to a wet start now. We now have a surplus for the month at two-thirds of an inch. We have a surplus for 2010 again after losing it a couple of days ago back up to three-quarters of an inch. 1.10, the two-day storm total at Camp Mabry at the airport. One of the locations that didn't get quite an inch, seven-tenths, so not bad. This 1.1 inches at Camp Mabry yesterday and the uh, little bit we had today, that is more than the airport had in the entire month of May. Let's hope that trend continues, but I'm not confident that it will. Uh, Lake Buchanan uh, not helped really by the rain, still three feet below average. Uh, Lake Travis is still eight feet above average, but two feet lower than full. And what about those temperatures today? Did you enjoy that? I, I bet it's hard to remember back to a day that we had like today, right? It was in April that we last had a day this cool. 73 the high in the city, 74 at ABIA. Tonight, uh, temperatures very uniform across the area. Almost everybody in the low 70s, and it won't get much cooler. Our low tonight only dropping 3 degrees from our current temperature. This is 7 o'clock in the morning, 69. Some low clouds with the moisture at the ground level. And then I think sunshine begins to break out tomorrow, 84 in the afternoon. We could go to 93 tomorrow. We believe that most of the rain should be off to the east of Austin, but we thought most of it would be off today, too. And we ended up being kind of cloudy and rainy and much cooler than we anticipated. That was kind of a nice way to bust the forecast if you got to bust one. 72 at Mabry, 72 at ABIA. It's mostly cloudy. Our winds are light. Mole count sky high today, over 12,000, very high. And very high again tomorrow, we do believe. Temperatures around Texas, here's your rain-cooled air right there. Let me show you this storm last night. As it was heading down toward Corpus Christi at this hour, it really picked up some steam. And in Port Aransas and in Rockport and in Corpus Christi, widespread wind damage. Six people were injured at the Corpus Christi Naval Air Station. And then look at the remnants of the storm. It's still circulating over here around the Houston area right now. And as it moves off slowly to the east and away from us tomorrow, we're anticipating we will be warmer, a little more sunshine, and we dry out. But it's kind of close. It makes me a little bit nervous taking rain out of the forecast, so I'm going to include at least a 10% chance for tomorrow, mainly in our eastern counties. After that, high pressure should make us hot and dry this weekend. Enjoy the morning. We'll dip into the 60s briefly. Highs tomorrow, low to mid-90s. 67 tonight, clouds in the sky tomorrow, 93 clouds off to the east. Uh, we're going to drop the temperature a little bit this weekend. We've got another inch, inch and a half of water in the soil now. So I think that should keep us below that threatened 99 or 100 this weekend, but we still could get close. And then our next chance of some showers will be about the middle of next week, and that looks like a slight chance at this time. In the morning on Austin News Today, weather and traffic together every 10 minutes, beginning at 5.